first of all, I thank you very much. Uh, I definitely appreciate uh, Dr. Shaji's uh, hard work for promoting homeopathy in international level. As we are all working to promote homeopathy, now it's a right time. Even we were work globally. I think Corona, because of Corona, we learned many things, including uh, expanding our practice globally. Before Corona, as Dr. Shaji says, I used to travel Malaysia, even I used to travel a few countries for seeing a patient. But after Corona, this is my autism clinic where I sit and I see patients from France, Australia, US, everywhere. So the message what I want to communicate is right now homeopathy is growing in global level and it is our duty to carry this uh, journey along with our international forum for promoting homeopathy. I appreciate and I, with this small note of thanks, I will start my presentation for uh, scope of homeopathy in autism. Before going into the session, uh, Yeah, so this is what my topic, as uh, Sir was telling, that we have a very good scope in treating autism. <clears throat> this is the first slide which I always share. That is nothing but aim and objective is nothing but uh, if you go with a aphorism 67 footnote, uh, it is very clearly said we have a limitations. Homeopathy has got a limitations on advanced pathological condition, everything. So similarly, I strongly believe uh, being a homeopath, even other systems have a lot of limitations. So first, uh, I was working on that area. So the simple example on my slide is a patient uh, with a face of uh, keloids before treatment and after treatment, you could witness it, the keloid was disappearing. The moment you go and type Google keloid, it is a non-healing surgical ulcer, which we can heal with homeopathy. Delicia is a medicine which I have been used. So I strongly believe that there are many areas like this. Uh, we have to focus where uh, the other limitations, other system limitations are there. A similar a kind of example is a migraine uh, where neurologists are finding difficulty. Uh, we can have a permanent solution, irritable bowel syndrome where gastroenterologists are struggling, where we can give a better solution. So with this note, I was uh, working with a different, different areas where they have a limitations. And finally, the moment I saw autism, uh, we were able to produce a good results. Then ultimately, uh, where the globally the autism parents are struggling, and why not we focus more on this? And since the last six years, I've been focusing on this autism, and I've been getting very good results. Here, I'm going to share just a journey of my experience, my clinical experience. So everybody being a doctor, everybody knows what is autism, what is the uh, protocol, or how to take the case, how to come to the totality whether you make a classical prescription or a polypharmacy, that is all. Every doctor is individualistic, unique. Everyone is having their own unique style of approach. So I don't want to go detail into that area, but where I want to share my experience that I strongly believe homeopathy can help autism. And that is what <coughs> gut feeling. And as you know very well, Hanuman, this going back to our uh, Bible uh, of Organon, aphorism 210 to 230, Hanuman clearly classified of treating a mental disease in and also in organon of <laughs> everybody knows autism is nothing but uh, the brain is not developing this is a functional imbalance of the brain something for what we can call is a disorder it is not a disease at all it is not due to any pathology it is something where uh, the social interaction and communication skills have been lacking and uh, a lot of features which uh, we will be going through one by one <laughs> Mainly, it is a complex developmental disability. See, again, here, uh, we uh, we have been, even the definition, how, how I was telling that a surgical uh, ulcer, which we cannot heal uh, the keloid. Similarly, they say it is a disability. But with homeopathy, yes, definitely we can make, this definition can be changed. It, we can make as a normal kid. And as you know very well, it has been uh, described by Leo Connor, 1943. And the name itself clearly says the child has been locked within themselves. So not, nothing but we have to unlock with homeopathy. Simple. Just try to do a work where we can help the parents. You will be seeing a 
video of an autistic patient. So you could have seen a patient came to my clinic with a classical autistic feature. Rather going how they are, you could have seen how autism kid will be. This, I think many of the doctors would have come across a seen autism patient also. This is one simple patient which I try to share. Rather talking more about autism, this is what autism. Mm -hmm. A boy who is having all these features. So it has been increasing over 20 years. It has been, see, this is the, again, before uh, I started a practice, one out of 200 was the ratio. Just six years back, every day the child was born, one out of 200 is autistic feature. But now the statistics has come one out of around 60. So that means one out of 60 is autism and where the rise of autism is extremely high. So we have to find the reason. And as our honeyman was describing, a holistic approach, uh, as a sick, like both physical and mental health is very important. So psychosomatic stress, which I found the main reason for increasing in autistic cases that we will discuss later. So again, majority of the autism community, they try to communicate to the parents in you know, a Google, you could have seen it is a lifelong disability. And what I would like to share is definitely if you are going to intervene in the early stage, definitely we can bring them into a normal span. So no need to accept autism. We definitely, if you're intervening in an early stage, we can bring them as a normal kid. <coughs> so nothing but symptoms of autism. As you know very well, it varies from person to person, patient to patient, degree also from uh, uh, ranging from mild to moderate to severe. And uh, it is also called as uh, commonly one out of the PDD. Sometimes majority of the diagnosis we get PDD, autism, these are all one under the same. Even it is one, autism is one of the uh, five outcome of uh, five branches of PDD. <coughs> so as everybody knows, it's for the beginners, just autistic disorder or Asperger's or childhood disintegrative disorder or Ritz disorder or PDD. These are all the things which all comes under autistic spectrum.
So nothing but what I was sharing a video is a patient of Asperger's. Again, you could have witnessed clearly instead of detailing about what is Asperger's, just I have shared a few minutes video of a patient of Asperger's. And many of the people knows or some people doesn't know that these people are mild autistic, whether it's a Michael Jackson or a Jim Carrey or a Bill Gates, all are autistic, mild autistic. But what I want to share is, see, in, in if they are a mild autistic, they have a caliber to become a top in their profession. Their skill is extremely high and very fast. Again, the same fast has become the problem. The character of autistic babies, as you know very well, sensory and movement disorders, communication will be difficult, social interaction will be difficult, and their behaviors will be abnormal, and their function of intellectual will be not on par with the age. These are all, uh, we can able to witness it on every autistic kids. Here, This is a boy, autism boy, which he came uh, first after completing a first course of treatment. After six months, how he is going to be in the next video, you can witness that homeopathy is helped. Then I will go with a presentation. So this is how after one year, after one year of homeopathy, the size, the same patient. You could always witness that eye contact is good, sitting tolerance is improved, hyperactivity is reduced. These are all the features of autism which you have seen on the previous video. So, nothing but just I shared one case before treatment and after treatment, which clearly so shows that first video shows clearly how autism patient will be. And after one year of medication, you would have witnessed there is a good improvement. Now he can able to sit in a normal school. Previously, he was going to the special school with a therapy. Now he is going to the normal school. Once he goes to the normal school, automatically when he behaves with the normal children, that the friends itself, they will become a therapist and he will become like a normal kid. So this is the thing which I witnessed personally. I used to share, rather talking, I used to share my experience, which I've seen in personally. But going back to the causative factor, 
uh, even many people say uh, after 1980, because of that uh, MMR vaccine, the autism is increased. But I strongly believe in my experience, which I come across around 900 cases, the vaccine side effect was very, very minimal. Even one of the researcher, a parent of autism, uh, boy has done a research in Malaysia and they came to conclusion that substandard mercury, which has been used, one of the manufacturers of a uh, vaccine has created a little bit of autistic feature. So I strongly believe very, very important causative factor for autism is nothing but poor mental health during pregnancy. Even genetic cause also, I've never come across only minimal percentage. So the poor mental health. So the moment once we come across that, the mind plays a major role. So we, can, we have to see a patient as a whole. Holistic approach, what we have as per Honeyman statement is really working on this also. So similar way, rather thinking on uh, treating autism, even we can prevent autism. So we need to focus more on how to prevent autism. See, there are many families, they are under fear. If any one of the family kids is having autism, then full family is having a fear. So what we should do is, being a homeopath, we have to work that during pregnancy, the state of mental health is very, very important. This is what the message which I always try to communicate. Poor mental health during pregnancy. Now the case also increasing. When you go with the substatistics, majority of the autism parents are IT couples, especially those who are going abroad. Ultimately, the moment you go to the abroad, whatever they enjoy in India, they have a parental support, grandparental support, love, affection, care is there. Whereas once they go to abroad, they become a low, they lead a lonely life. The mother is leading a lonely life. That is the main reason where the psychosomatic stress that the reason of uh, occurring autism is increasing. So we need to more focus on the mental health during pregnancy. This is my uh, very, very important message. And even everybody says these are all other areas of uh, causes also. Is it genetic load, emotional trauma? That is what I've been repeatedly telling. Uh, allopathic medication, I rarely I found uh, there is no due to allopathic medication. Vaccination, yes, MMR, little bit of side effect is there. But while case taking, we need to be very careful like a lawyer. So we have to differentiate by finding the causative factor. So everybody, they will have, a, every parent will have their own understanding that it is only because of vaccine side effect. So we need to go right from the genetical backup till the end of finding other causative factor, which will help us to uh, fine tune our prescription as per our homeopathy philosophy. So finding causative factor is a very important for prescription also. And uh, many of the areas, even the causative factor, old age people. So first children, they will be going with a, as soon as they go for a marriage. And maybe sometimes many of the parents are going after 10 years, 15 years for a kid. Uh, that is a high risk category. So now uh, that can be prevented. And the signs and symptoms of autism, everybody knows that the children will not sit in one place. Eye contact will be poor, sitting tolerance will be poor. They will be delay in speech, echolalia, they will be creating a noise, they will be repeating, and sensor issue will be there. A brain will be reacting to the light and noise in a different way. Uh, all these things, even the parent will come across on early stage. But the biggest problem here is acceptance by the parents. Even if they're a doctor, they're not ready to accept that their son is autistic. So early intervention, even if we find out these kind of feature in our clinic, communicating to the parent, we should be having a, a very soft tone and try to convince them with a, going with a kind of analysis. These are all the signs and symptoms. Cognitive functions will be delayed. Communication difficulties will be there. Fine and gross motor skills will be delayed. Sensory process will be having a disorders and learning difficulties. Even sometimes it can be combined with a mental retardation also. So majority of the cases, sometimes you no, know, we will get confused. Autism also comes with epilepsy. Autism comes with a, a mental retardation, cerebral palsy. So we need to differentiate. We cannot focus on treating epilepsy while treating autism. We cannot treat uh, uh, any other associating factor along with autism. So I always see to that. I focus only on autistic feature. Try to address on the brain and uh, mainly these autistic kids along with the brain problem they will have more sensitivity towards the stomach even now the research also is coming out and saying that absorption of uh, vitamin b6 and b12 is playing a major role so the brain symptoms is directly connected with the stomach so we need to understand what are the diet patterns see like uh, as per our honeyman protocol of uh, case taking whatever we go we go in detail and we understand how they eat what they eat what the likes and what they dislike these are all plays a, a major role in treating autism also 
GA is a very, very sensitive area. These symptoms, majority of the kids, it has been associated with flatulence, constipation, and acidic stool, distension pain. These are all common symptoms which you come, which we come across during case taking. And when come to the investigation, uh, uh, generally, as you know very well, autism parents are not coming to homeopathy doctor first. They would have definitely gone for an analysis. As you know very well, there are certain uh, scales are there, cars analysis are there. Uh, now, the recent advancement, autism, these are all old and which is an international protocol. But in India now, ESA app has come down with the help of ICMR. In, uh, international, uh, that our Indian Council of Medical Research has launched ICMR, ESA app. That is more more uh, beneficiary. So if you want to create an evidence for a research purpose, we can go with the ESA app and we can prove that homeopathy is helping because that ESA app is directly connected with the ICMR on a research protocol. So definitely, if you are going in a government setup, definitely we can choose that uh, ESA app for an uh, assessment. These are all old scale. In my experience, even many discussions, we have been telling that these are all old scale. It is on par with the international standard. When it comes to the India standard, I strongly believe ESA, Indian Standard for Autism Assessment Scale. So when coming to the uh, evidence, what I'm going to share, see, when we, whenever we talk about autism, again, when we talk about the research, this is the gray area where we are finding a lot of difficulties. Going to the research, taking all patients' information and sharing to the ICMR itself difficult. And uh, we cannot go with the research protocol since we have lack of facilities in many areas. So as a practitioner, as a homeopathy practitioner, as a strong believer of homeopathy, I go mostly, I create a clinical evidence. So rather going on more on research protocol, even little bit I do, but I go more on the clinical evidences, which I've been very successful. In other cases, we are how we create before treatment and after treatment, when we treat the kidney stones. So this is a stone which uh, when we talk about kidney stones this is a stone which we have dissolved uh, around 6.7 centimeter of stones so it's a stag on calculus which we have been able to dissolve the moment once we share with the medical community they don't believe but once we share with the evidence ultimately they accept pay ultimately they will ask a scientific backup evidence where we have a little bit of lacuna that we have to accept this is how I go with the clinical evidence. Whatever the cases, whenever I treat bursitis or a varicose vein, just we go with the clinical evidence. When coming to the autism, yes, even still I am creating a clinical evidence. Majority of the international patients, we used to get a communication through WhatsApp where these kind of evidence, even patient, parent himself can create evidence. Always I say, uh, before starting any medication in homeopathy, create an evidence. Like uh, this is a patient of Sankal whose hand, handwriting before how it was and now how it is. So the improvement we can justify with a clinical evidence. So more I'm going rather with the research protocol, I'm going with a clinical evidence so that parents will be happy. And even we get more of, more of an assessment. Uh, they go for a clinical assessment and they try to share every time I go with a after a medicines three months or a six months they used to share so this is a one patient where he has been sharing these are the positive outcomes and still what are the problems so every three months or a six months we used to interact with the patient and we used to create a evidence-based practice this is some video clippings like uh, this is one of the more uh, uh, advantage nowadays because of the technology even sitting in chennai i can practice uh, how the patients they don't need to come for our clinic if a patient is in abroad they don't need to come uh, they can share simple two minutes or three minutes video and they can share us how they are rather seeing discussing with the patient we can go through with the video and we can get the feedback and we can take do the case taking and we can do the comparison also so these are all the patient uh, feedback which i got it from Australia, Hyderabad, US. These are all some uh, WhatsApp. So actually what I do uh, when I'm coming to the treatment protocol, everybody uh, says what is uh, the success of behind treating this kind of autism. It is nothing but as you know very well, we need to go with the individualization. But at the end of the day, uh, we have a homeopathic approach where we have to go on individual case taking and prescribe. And there are many of the drugs which is similar with the autistic feature. We know autism, how the symptoms are. And you, when you go through the Medra Medica, Tarantula, Hyoceamus, we can see similar uh, features of autism. So we can definitely try. And what I do, there are a lot of medicine which is available even in therapeutics or even Medra Medica, similar. I think Borax, Tramonium, Asarum, Teridion, Corsinosin, Naxomica, Opium, China, all these medicines you can go and see, you can find out the symptoms similar with a uh, autistic feature. So nothing but law of similia, I'm trying to match the symptoms with the Medra Medica. When we go with the case taking, we come across medicines. Again, what I do in this, again, individualization. So we can divide these autism patients into three categories. 
primary category you can find out the sensory patterns not all the patients will be with all features majority of the patients will be only with a sensory pattern where they will be having a problem with the uh, sound touch smell vision and uh, auditory so this we can divide so that it will help on our prescription this is a common for all kinetic state majority of the children movements hyperactivity sitting tolerance all these things which shows that is a kinetic state and regressive state so regressive is nothing but they they will have involuntary evacuation of stool and uh, they will be having a tendency to masturbate on genital I mean, these are all some regressive and they will not attach with the environment peer group interaction will not be there socialization will not be there these are all comes under the regressive category so i generally categorize autism patient in these three category and i work for the prescription when it comes to the therapeutics ultimately end of the day in my experience i go with the rational sometime with the empirical so empirical as you know very well these are all the medicine which i commonly come across in my practice so being all homeopathy doctors you know how to go with the case taking totality i don't want to go do uh, too much deep into it everyone even 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 when i go with my own style of approach everybody will be having unique style and you can go with that finally the uh, conclusion will be my uh, my area and my successful on this autism is nothing but uh, uh, my pet remedies are nothing but carcinosin natremure medorinum and tuberculinum medorinum tuberculinum i give as a intercurrent carcinosin natremure in case if patient with a more of a sensory problems i go with a pasfras naxwamica and china that is with the sensory issues and if they are with a kinetic type and stereotype belladonna china aram and tarantula these three medicines kinetic and stereotype i go regressive state majority baretta carb zincamet and bufurena so these are all my pet remedies even when you go with a case taking definitely you can find on your own uh, style of prescription secondary remedies carcinosin tuja califas these are all rarely i use in this carcinosin is my favorite remedies majority of the cases even carcinosin was helping arsenic amalgam natremur selenium belladonna veratrum amalgam medorinum stramonium lacis silica some of the cases i use these medicines also and when i go with the my own statistics i found mostly i use carcinosin in total of my cases and carcinosin yes the moment once we come out with a medicine name everybody want the potency so i go with a 200 potency it has definitely register initially curative response within four weeks of time subsequently around 20% and carcinosin 1m brought a significant re response in producing 50 to 60% of the amelioration on autistic feature definitely again the dose based on the high function children have received in frequent doses children with a moderate and a, to severe use often repeated doses again everybody this knows everyone so this is again one more case where i am sharing this is a patient before treatment this is after treatment after almost one year he can able to sit properly he can able to have follow my instruction eye contact is good so automatically this boy is going to the normal school now since i am running out of time i am going with a little bit of uh, distribution of my cases so number of cases which i have taken uh, is almost 60 non autistic 0 and post treatment 9 mild 24 and 34 moderate 27 and 13 severe 9 and 4 and these are the some statistical report which i got it based on my understanding and percentage of cases status quo worsening mild improvement moderate improvement and marked improvement this is the statistics which i got it along with medicine see i strongly believe homeopathy alone is not helping in this category i strongly believe i always advise that 30% of the improvement comes with only a parental care the country to country the approach towards autism parent is changing i have seen in a country like a nepal they are uh, whether you believe it or not they are killing the kids country like malaysia they they give responsibility to the uh, 
servants they both the parents are working they are keeping the children to the uh, servants or uh, home made person or other home age so majority of the people uh, they, those who were share do not follow my advice like uh, they should give a parental care the mother should be with a kid otherwise it's very difficult that we get an improvement so always 30% parental care is must apart from parental care therapy speech therapy has to be combined if necessary this is a scope uh, which already dr haniman have been clearly said auxiliary measures in aphorism number 286 to 291 we have to go with a speech therapy occupation therapy physical therapy sensory integration now the technology is improving now parachute therapy is there uh, nemicheck protocol is there lot of therapies are there honestly speaking i don't recommend therapy for any kid from my end they have to approach the therapist and whatever said by the therapist once we started telling everything then we will become confused so we have to keep our hand tight and keep our scope only on giving internal homeopathy medicine and this i will tell the concerned specialist to to take care of it and they have to go with the therapy also these are all the cases which i got lot of videos where if i have a time i can go with how they are behaving three months how they are behaving one year how they are going with the two years three years so every kid i go with a video recording almost around 900 cases across 300 videos i have which I have lack of time i am not able to share i strongly believe that we need to have a patience of 90 days minimum maximum 180 days within 90 days i don't give prescriptions for a one week or a one month or 10 days i stick see to that if the parent are willing they have to try for 90 days and what i have witnessed is end of 90 days definitely a parent will witness 10 to 20% improvement so my take home message is whenever you want to treat a homeopathy through homeopathy autism always see to that give medicine just for 90 days minimum period minimum period so that one parent will witness the improvement once if they witness the improvement they will stick on it that is also a successful formula and uh, definitely the treatment uh, improvement comes with the depends upon the cases mild moderate or severe and these are some of the references which i shared on this uh, powerpoint and my strong conclusion is nothing but homeopathy definitely we can able to reverse autism and definitely we can able to produce a result we can go with a lot of protocols and understandings and clear evidence also we can create that homeopathy will definitely help on treating autism and my simple take home message for this today session is i strongly believe that homeopathy is definitely can cure autism and we need to have a faith and we need to move forward and create more of uh, evidences including on the research area where government people can definitely go on to it being a private practitioner we have a lot of limitations creating a uh, uh, records and going with the protocols and sometime majority also as you know very well parents also also frustrated when we are putting on too much of investigation also they are already fed up and that is also one of the limitation which i am finding and my strong take home message for this session is definitely we can treat autism and my experience definitely that causative factor is psychosomatic stress during pregnancy <coughs> and we have to promote homeopathy our intention is promote homeopathy so to promote homeopathy we have to focus on areas where the people are struggling so even now corona is there whether home arsenic a lot of theories will be there whether they believe it or not whether they believe homeopathy or not but people are ready to take arsenic a malbum similarly when there is no answer on certain areas including autism once we try to talk they are ready to listen once we produce the results we can definitely uh, give a results once we give results ultimately homeopathy is been Uh, promoted so this is my conclusion is nothing but by taking uh, this autism to the global level is possible by which we can improve homeopathy also always think on preventing autism our uh, synchronized with our concept of psychosomatic approach so with this i conclude and i thank uh, shaji sir uh, see, due to lack of time i was not able to show a lot of videos and uh, i'm not going more into the case taking procedure because everybody is having their own style of uh, case taking i strongly believe i respect every each one every one of it but i want to share the success that is nothing but what are the medicine which i've been using and i want to make sure that i'm not lying with a book i'm just going with see i'm sitting in front of a uh, this is what my autism clinic also i have lot of uh, cases where i've been seeing and i want to take this message to everyone and definitely we have very good scope being a beginner anybody tries definitely they'll uh, get good results sir so uh, with this i in in my presentation dr shaji sir i will if any question is there i'm ready to take and i will wait for your uh, instructions sir thank you